Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what you can expect when it comes to using the Huawei App Store which is also known as the Huawei App Gallery especially if you are coming from using the Google Play Store The most important thing you need to know first is at the time of this video, all the new Huawei devices, the phones and the tablets they are running on the Huawei EMUI OS which is actually based on Android 10 so it's sort of like a variant of Android 10 however for that particular OS it doesn't support Google Play Store so you can sort of get it installed on the Huawei devices but the installation process is not that straightforward or you can actually choose to buy your phone or tablet through a reseller that already has the Google Play Store pre-installed in which case you will get the best of both worlds you will get the Huawei App Store as well as the Google Play Store but for this video I'm just going to focus on uh, using only the Huawei App Gallery in this video I'm going to refer to the apps purchased through the Google Play Store as the Play Store apps and the apps purchased through the Huawei App Gallery as the App Gallery apps and also there is a difference between Google Play Store and Google Play Services Google Play Store is basically the app store where you get the variety of apps Google Play Services is the technology that runs the apps that deal with uh, Google services such as uh, Google Sign-in Google Cloud Drive Syncing and all those uh, Google technology that happens uh, behind the scenes Alright, let's launch the Huawei App Gallery and see what happens if this is the first time you are launching the Huawei App Gallery, you may see an ad. That's because this App Store it's ad supported. So I want to point you to some of the apps that I am currently using. Let's check out the variety of apps first. So I'm going to do a search for this app called Artflow, which is a drawing app that's available from the Google Play Store. The Huawei App Gallery is still new. It reminds me of the Google Play Store during its infancy days where there is a smaller variety of apps and the quality of the apps are not that great. The same applies here with the Huawei App Gallery now. So some of the Play Store apps have already been ported over to the App Gallery. However, of course, not all are ported over. For example, with this app called Artflow, it's not ported over and you can click this add button to tell Huawei that you want this app to be ported over. I'm not sure what that actually means, whether or not Huawei will actually contact the developers to port that app over. But um, this app, it's not available here and you can expect the apps that you have been using from the Play Store, they may not be available here on the Huawei App Gallery. So with Midibank Paint Pro, another drawing app, it's available. And Sketchbook, it's also not available. Now sometimes they may actually ask you to go to the website for those apps instead. For example, let me do a search. For example, let me do a search on Instagram. So many of the popular apps like Facebook, Instagram, or the Google apps, they are not available yet on the App Store, sorry, on the App Gallery. So for Instagram, for example, you see here, it tells you to open in a browser. That basically means you should go to your web browser and type in Instagram.com. So the functionality of the Instagram website is not the same as the Instagram app. For example, with the Instagram website, you will not be able to take photos and upload directly onto Instagram because there is no upload button. And you are going to notice there's this um, discrepancy difference in features or functionality that is available on the website versus apps. By the way, I will not be able to cover all the differences between the Google Play Store and the Huawei App Gallery because there are just too many for me to discover. I can only talk about the things that I have found out. So let's take a look at another example, the Google Drive's website. 
Now in this case, I actually prefer the website for Google Drive because it gives me more functionality. The Google Drive app, personally for me, um, the functionality is a bit limiting. And here, when it comes to uploading and downloading files, uh, it still works as per normal. You have access to the file system on the Huawei OS. You see all these icons here. These are actually all bookmarks to the websites for the various services. These are not the apps themselves because Google Calendar, Gmail, basically all the Google apps, they are not available here. Facebook is not available here as well. The official YouTube app is not available on Huawei App Gallery but I actually prefer the YouTube website over the app. But that's the thing, you see. With Google Play Store, you have the option of using the app or the website, but here on the Huawei OS, you can only use the YouTube website. Let's move on to another app where there are some issues. This is EBS Paint X says here that this app will not run without Google Play services which are not supported by your device. That is actually not true because I can actually click the OK button and I can get the app running. But the thing is you're going to get many of those um, dialog box warning quite often. Okay, say for example you have purchased this app from the Google Play Store and you want to restore your purchases. So let me go into settings. Let's click restore purchase rights. So here it says that there is no permission of in-app purchase. Now what this means is the app gallery here, it wasn't able to get any information from the Google Play Store. So it's not going to be able to know that you have already purchased this app. Let's say you have not purchased this app ever before and you want to purchase it here. Let's see if you can do that. So it seems like it's not able to get the price of the app. Let's see what happens when I click here. So again, there is no permission of in-app purchase because in this case here, I think it's because the developer, he or she has not reprogrammed the app to allow for transactions through the Huawei app gallery. That's why you do not see the price and that's why you are not able to go through with the transaction. This might be something you will see quite often for the Play Store apps that are ported over to Huawei. The next app I want to show you is Medibank Paint. Now this app is also available on the Google Play Store. I was able to sign into my Medibank account and thankfully I was able to assess all the files that I have created with Medibank on my Samsung tablet. So all these files that you see here, uh, these were actually saved onto the Medibank cloud server. These were created on my Samsung tablet. So it works fine here with this particular app, as long as you can sign to the website, to the app. And this next app that I want to show you is Concepts, which is also available on the Google Play Store. So here, um, now I have actually purchased all these brushes from the Play Store, but on the Huawei App Gallery, uh, there is no link between this app and the uh, Google Play Store, so I wasn't able to restore the purchases, so I had to spend the money again to buy the same brushes. Um, so that is something that you will have to uh, take note of, spending money again to buy the same app, even though you have already bought it from the Google Play Store. But the one good thing here is at least you are still able to buy, um, buy stuff through this app because the programmers, they have uh, programmed this app to allow for transactions through the Huawei App Gallery.
This is Wacom Bamboo Paper, a note-taking app that's also available on the Google Play Store. So when I try to sign in here, it brings me to a website and after I have signed in with my correct credentials, um, this web page doesn't bring me back to the app, so I am not able to sign in. And also for some particular reason, even though I wasn't able to sign in, all the tools they have already been unlocked. You actually have to pay to unlock some of these brushes here and there may be a glitch that unlocked all this and thankfully this glitch actually worked in my favor. But the thing here is if you cannot sign in properly, you won't be able to purchase those uh, brushes. This is Nabel, another note-taking app that's also available on the Google Play Store. So this app allows you to connect to your Google Drive or Dropbox to sync your notes. Let's try to connect this to Google Drive. So it says here that it will not run without Google Play services which are not supported by your device. Do you guys hear that? It's like it's going to rain. So if you have been syncing notes to Google Drive using Nable on Microsoft Windows or on some other Android tablets, you will not be able to access those notes here because you cannot connect to Google Drive. But thankfully, Dropbox connection, it works. So those are some of the situations you can expect when it comes to using the Huawei App Gallery, especially if you are coming from using the Google Play Store the inability to restore past purchases even if you want to buy sometimes the transaction is not allowed because the programmers the developers they have not uh, reprogrammed the play store apps to work properly on huawei app gallery uh, google play services do not work properly sometimes you are not able to sign into google services you are not able to connect to google drive to your google account or sometimes even if you type in your correct credentials you won't even be able to sign in it will just i mean it just doesn't work the functionality for some of the apps sometimes it doesn't work as well compared to that you find on the Google Play Store. There are a lot of other um, little situations here and there. I mean, the apps are still going to work. The general functionality still works, just that you're going to be missing a few features here and there. And at the time of this video, there are actually a lot of apps on the Huawei App Gallery. Uh, just that if you have some of your favorite apps from the Google Play Store, they may not have been ported over yet. So you will have to find your own alternatives or use the website version of those apps here. As mentioned earlier in the video, you can actually purchase Huawei devices, their phones and tablets pre-installed with Google Play Store. You cannot purchase these products through the Huawei official retail stores, but you can purchase them through resellers on AliExpress. And the prices for those uh, devices with Google Play Store or without Google Play Store, the prices, um, they are not very different. But the thing is, if you want to purchase a Huawei device pre-installed with Google Play Store, then why not go with a tablet that already have the official Google Play Store? So that's something you should think about. All right, if you have been using Huawei devices, I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think about the app gallery versus the Google Play Store and what are some of the situations or problems you have faced so far. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.